Hello friends, welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm a reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I do a lot of unboxings on this channel and then I always come back 90 days later and talk about if I made a profit on the box and if I would buy another one. So today we're doing a 90 day update on the Helpsy Source Women's Athleta Secondhand Box. So if you wanna see if I actually made money, definitely stick around. So Helpsy Source has two different kinds of secondhand boxes available. They have the sort of like themed boxes like Women's Most Wanted or um, Vintage and Retro that have mixed brands and then they have these brand specific boxes. So this one was Athleta, 40 pieces of all Athleta branded women's clothing. So I will link the original video down below if you want to watch the original unboxing, but today I'm going to talk about what actually sold. So of this box, I actually listed 34 of the items and there were six items that I, I don't know if they were maybe flawed or I just didn't feel like were worth listing. Um, I know I sent a few of them to thread up, but 34 items total were listed. Um, my cost on this box was $233.00. And 92 cents. Um, I'm sure that I t I paid the website price minus 10%. I do have an affiliate code with Helpsy Source, which is oh yeah, you can use it too. And they let me use my code uh, on my own orders. But if you want to use it, the link is down below to take 10% off your entire order at Helpsy Source. And if you like reseller content, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. I always do a 90 day update when I do uh, an unboxing video and I share lots of reseller tips and tricks on here as well. So I'd love to have you in a future video and hit that like button if you would, that really does help out my channel a lot. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do, um, I sold of the 34, I sold 22 and I still have 17 left. So a little, 16 left. So a little than, a little more than half of the box has been sold. Um, so I'm going to show you what sold over here. I, I do admit I'm a little bit late on this box. And so unfortunately the eBay sales that are more than 90 days old, I don't have screenshots for, um, which is actually a, a few of them. So I apologize in advance, but I'm going to do my best to show you everything. So starting with what has sold, there was this organic cotton tank top, which sold for $9 on Mercari. Honestly, I almost didn't list this because it's so old and just, it's a basic tank top. Um, so getting $9 for it is totally cool with me. Um, then there was this purple V-neck t-shirt. Again, super basic item, $10 Poshmark sale. But I mean, that was my full asking price and then the buyer paid shipping too. So not mad about that either. Um, I had two of these and unfortunately they both sold, sold quickly on eBay so I don't have a screenshot for either but it was called the Breezy Tank and it was literally like a basic blank black tank top. Um, they sent two of the exact same ones. This is the first one which sold for $10 on eBay. The other one is a little bit higher up in the countdown. Um, there was the Run Light Singlet Tank Top. That one did sell on eBay too for $12. And honestly, some of these, and I'm sharing these little sales with you because I want you to know not everything in the box was necessarily like what I pick up for $5 at the thrift store. Um, but some of the stuff I felt was worth listing just to recoup some of my money. So, and there will be, of course, higher profiting items in the box. So that's kind of where I am with like this lower stuff um, and also some of the stuff that hasn't sold yet, to be honest. Um, then there's these Trekkie shorts. They were like a bluish gray color. These sold for $14 on Mercari. There was the Lux Pose top. This one, I came like this close to keeping for myself. It was my size. I think I even wore it to film a couple videos. I just, I didn't love the way it fit. And when I keep stuff for myself, it eats into my profit. <laughs> so I decided to just go ahead and uh, list it. And it did sell for $15 on eBay. Um, I, I don't have a screenshot of that either. But I, you know, I, I didn't really expect to get more than that. It definitely was a basic and it wasn't like anything like super in style right now. So, um, but I'd rather go ahead and, and sell and report the earnings than keep something around that I don't love. I, I try not to do that too much. Um, then there was the Swagger Mini Tennis Skirt. Um, this was an eBay sale to $15 on eBay. 
Here's the other breezy tank top on the list. This one sold for $16. This one I don't have a screenshot for either. It looks like they sold um, within 10 days of each other and they both sold um, like when I first listed them. So this isn't the only box this has happened to me with. Um, it's happened with other boxes too. Basic black tank tops sell very fast on eBay. I, I don't know why, I don't know what it is. If that's happened to you, let me know in the comments because I seem to like basic black tank tops like fly out of my eBay store. It's it's very strange. Um, then I had the downplay shorty. Uh, this was an $18 Poshmark sale. It looks like this one actually sold as part of a bundle. There was an organic cotton ribbed turtleneck. And this one, I was very like on the fence of whether or not this would be in style right now or out of style. Um, but I mean, it did sell on Poshmark for $18. I think I listed it for 20 and sent an offer because I do have that it, you know, had the discounted shipping. This was only listed for three days and then it was sold. So I pretty, I'm, I'm concluding, especially because it sold in June and it's a turtleneck, I'm concluding that it was maybe a more sought after piece and I maybe could have either gotten more or I don't know, maybe I should have not sent an offer. Um, not sure, but that one sold really super quick. Um, then there was a pair of black bike shorts. These sold for $18 on Poshmark. There was the run with it skirt. Um, this one was a $22 Poshmark sale. And this one actually sold very quickly too, within three days. Um, then there was the relaxed fit asymmetrical top. This one, $22 Poshmark sale. This one took a little while, actually. This one just sold more recently, probably technically after the 90 days, but I hadn't made the video yet, so. There was the Evergreen hoodie sweater. Um, I really liked this, actually. If this was my size, it probably would have been mine, but it was a small, um, and I really liked the color of this um, and just the feel of the fabric, but it was a $22 eBay sale. Then there was the Contender skirt capri legging, and we debated this one in the last video, whether or not the capri leggings were in or out. Um, and I don't even have a screenshot of these either, but basically they were like the capris with the skirt like built in. It was like a two in one. And I wasn't sure if like that was in style right now or not, I, or if I should even bother trying to sell them. And uh, some of you had chimed in and mentioned that um, those sort of, um, that or that style doesn't really like go out of style per se, because people... Uh, people who who uh, seek out that style seek it out for modesty, which I could, which totally makes sense. You want you you have tight fitting pants on and you want to be covered up. So I didn't even think about that honestly when I was my reasoning for whether it was in style or out of style. Um, so I'm I'm glad that you guys kind of enlightened me on that because I would have never thought like that would be a reason for something to still sell. Um, but actually, they did sell. They they sold in less than a month for twenty four ninety nine on eBay, and actually that was my full asking price. So, um, I think what you said was probably absolutely right. Somebody was out there seeking a a modest workout pant, and uh, and they just paid my full asking price. So that was pretty cool to learn. Um, then there were the bar cinch pants. They were like um like more like dance pants. These sold on Poshmark for twenty five dollars. Um, there was the heat tech flannel. I liked this too. This was kind of cool, but I didn't keep this either. It was a $27 Poshmark sale. I'm um, sold by offer. So probably listed at 30 and sent an offer to Likers. Okay. This is the top five. So we've got the Prima Loft tight. These were like, um, probably for running in the cooler weather because they were lined with like a micro fleece. Um, they were also a $27 eBay sale. Um, then there was the Athleta Stellar Tight. Um, these were also a little bit more substantial, not just regular like athletic leggings. There was something special about these. I can't remember what it was, but these were a $30 Poshmark sale. There were the Striped Modern Metro Shorties. These actually were new with tag and they didn't retail super high, maybe $50 or $60, but I still got $34 for them on Mercari. So, hey, I'm not complaining. Um, and then the last two... Both were eBay sales. 
Both I do not have screenshots for. So I'm going to just put like a picture of the item up here on the screen so you can see what it is. Um, there were the endless cargo pants in a size eight. These were a $35 eBay sale. Um, these sold within five days of me listing. And then the last pair were the studio wide leg pant, um, size extra small in burgundy. These sold after six days for $39.99. So those were two highest sales and two of the fastest sales too. So I would say that top five, if you're looking for Athleta while you're out thrifting, um, and, and this box pretty much confirms my, I guess, my own strategy when it comes to Athleta and thrifting. Um, not all Athleta is worth picking up. Um, maybe if it's a dollar, I would consider some of this lower stuff, but probably not because then you're putting time into something you're not getting a huge return on. Um, but definitely I've heard mixed reviews about whether people still pick up Athleta or not. And you'll have to let me know in the comments if you still source Athleta. But I would say based on this, yeah, certain pieces are definitely still worth picking up, especially if the cost is low enough. But then other things certainly are not. So that's kind of what I'm what I'm gathering here. Um, so that's what sold. And I will also share with you what hasn't sold. If you're interested in any of these things, they're listed on my Poshmark eBay Mercari. Go check it out. Um, there's the long sleeve gray run top. This was a size large. Um, thinking maybe this might sell now that we're getting into the cooler months. Um, there's the peninsula striped linen top, size large. This one I'm disappointed didn't sell during summer. And so I have a feeling we're going to sit on this for a while. Uh, there's the Tugga coat, um, which I, in, in my opinion, this is the gem of the box. This one coat should sell for over $50, 50 plus at least. Um, not so much in the middle of summer. I listed this stuff in June. It hasn't sold yet. I'm not necessarily surprised um, just because of the seasonality. So I'm more than confident that this will sell eventually. It's just, it hasn't yet. Um, same with this one, the Cozy Karma Funnel Neck uh, sweater. I mean, again, it's this is a seasonal thing. I am hoping this one sells soon as well. There's the Rest Day Asymmetrical Sweater. Um, this isn't something I would necessarily pick up to sell, so I'm not surprised that's still here. There's the Transit Pullover Sweater. Um, this one hit or miss. I mean, it is a sweater, so it's a little more substantial, and maybe this one will sell um, during the winter months. There was the Sherpa coat. This one's an extra small, so smaller size, but um, I do think this will sell eventually here in the next couple months as well. Um, there's the hybrid tee, super basic, wouldn't have picked this up. That's still here. Um, then there's this Sherpa lined hoodie. This thing is super dated. I, I wouldn't have picked this thing up. If it were a hoodie that was a little bit more current or a little more... Um, just not this outdated, like I probably would purchase myself, but I have a feeling this is going to just sit. I mean, it's really dated and it's not even a good size. Um, there's a nylon cargo skirt. I'm surprised this didn't sell during the warmer months, but you know, we'll have to just kind of see on that one. It's a size two, so smaller. Um, there's the high rise cutout gray leggings, basic gray leggings, not necessarily surprised there. There's a pair of black striped leggings. These, in my opinion, are also a little bit outdated. Um, the next piece was a little surprising. Actually, the next two pieces are a little surprising. They're similar. There are these racerback crop tops, and I really figured these are a little bit more in style, especially um, the crop length because um, people like to wear them with the high-waisted leggings. So... I am a little bit surprised that these are still here. The only thing I can think is that they're not really like substantial pieces that are worth a lot. So, um, and they're, they're probably, uh, probably common. Like there's a lot of them out there. So can't say I'm surprised there, although I did have higher hopes for those. Um, and then the last ones that I have, again, surprised that they're still here, but hoping they'll sell in the fall are the velvet because there's always got to be something velvet in my box, right? These are the velvet high-rise leggings. Um, these are, were an extra small too. They're still here. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon on these. So my final verdict on this box, um, I paid $233. 
and my total profit as of right now is 195. So typically with pre-loved boxes, I want to triple my money. I made my 233 back plus an extra 195. So I'm getting very close to the double mark on this one. Um, was it a good box? Yes. I like this box. I, I still like this box, even looking at the profit at this time. Um, this is not a good 90 day box, but I do think that if I sell off at least three or four of the more substantial coats, jackets, sweaters, I think I'm going to get to that 90 day mark and I need to get through winter season though to like give that a chance. So Although I didn't make the money back quickly or make that triple quickly, I do think I will get to triple um, in a reasonable amount of time with this box. Um, and it was an all seasons box. So you'll notice a lot of the summery type things did sell off and then the wintry things are, are what's left mostly. Um, so would I buy this box again? I would. I would with the expectation that um, not everything is gonna sell super fast. I think what I'm gonna do with what I have left is, is keep probably the few really good pieces that will still sell, take the rest down and send a thread up. And I think if I were to buy this box again, I have to be a little more realistic about what I should list and what I should just go ahead and either, I prefer thread up because all I have to do is stick it in a box and send it off. Some of you may prefer like buy, sell trade stores or, um, things like that. Um, you know, just those, the ones that you don't actually list yourself and you try to sell off in other ways. So I think there should have been a little more of that on my part. Um, you know, just given how much time it takes to list 40 pieces when some of them are basics. So you'll have to let me know what you think. If you've ever ordered this box, please let me know how yours compares to mine. Um, if you've, you know, if you've had a similar experience, again, this box goes, on and off sale on the Help C Source website, depending on you know, whatever they're getting in and sorting. When they get a box of 40, they'll put it on live and then it sells out real quick. So if you wanna purchase this box or any other box from Help C Source, my affiliate link is down below, or you just type in the code, oh yeah, when you um, check out and it'll take 10% off your order, your entire order, it doesn't matter how big it is or whatever. Any boxes on the site, I think it works on, so. Um, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more 90 day updates. I am working really hard this month to catch up on the 90 day updates and get myself closer to updating at that 90 day mark. Um, this one is more like almost five months just because I've had so much other content to share with you that these have sort of gone to the wayside a little bit, but I am catching back up. Hit that like button on the way out if you would. That really helps out my channel a lot as well. And that's it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,